In this video, I'm going to teach you about coiling a line, but I'm also going to talk to you about a universal truth of seafaring and the internet, which says if you spend enough time on boats or the internet, at some point somebody's going to tell you you're doing it wrong. Ahoy hoy, I am Captain Boomies and I make videos about boats on the internet. I started making a really great video about coiling lines. It was super informative and like all up close and my nails looked good. And then I stopped because I realized I was gonna have a problem. I was gonna have a lot of pushback from the experts telling me that I was doing it wrong. And I'm still gonna show you that video. It's coming up in a second. But then I'm gonna talk you through why I stopped and what the thought process was there. Enjoy husband asked me to coil some lines so I figured I should make a video about how to do that. You're gonna hear some clanging, you're gonna hear some wind noise, but I'm making this video. Here we go. Take the loop end, also known as the dumb end because you give it to the dummy on the dock. It's also the eye. It's got a couple other names that weirdos call it. Then using the dumb end you dangle it and you take your wingspan and you make a loop and you take your wingspan and you make a loop. And I'm rolling it slightly between my fingers so that each of these loops lays nice and flat in line with its friend. Somebody's gonna yell at me for not making figure eights out of it, but these are old lines, they're happy to be flat. That's the moment I knew the mean comments were coming. All right, when you make all the loops and you're down to the bitter end, Drop that last line. Then take it, give it some big swings around the bottom. Swing, swing. Here, once, twice, three times a lady. You're gonna make a bite, which is just a bend. You're gonna push that bend through where your hand was, like so. And then you take your little bit around here and you shove it through that loop so that you have a lovely little octopus hang baggy. Octopus hang baggy. Au revoir. <laughs> okay, so it's still a very useful video, but the very picky mariners of the world will say, you're doing it wrong. That's not how you coil braided line. For my newer mariners, this is braided line as opposed to three strand line. Yes, there are other types. I know. Okay, let's get to it. How you're supposed to coil braided line. And the reason I say supposed to is because, uh, you know, I was coiling some nasty old dock line that had already been worked into having that twist to it that meant that it wanted to coil flat as opposed to what I'm about to show you, which is a figure eight coil. So this is a fairly fresh, though it has been coiled wrong a couple of times, so it might still fight me a little bit, braided line. And if it's an important braided line, like say a spinnaker halyard or anything that's got to run through a block, it's a really good idea to figure eight coil it. So here we go, uh, holding it so you can stab yourself with the line, with the bitter end. You're gonna take big wingspans, and allow it to figure eight on you. So you see how that works? And then take another wingspan and allow it to figure eight on you. I'm still going in the same direction every time I get to the top, but I'm allowing it to figure eight. The whole point is that this technically means that you don't put any undue twist into the line um, and you end up with all these nice figure eights. I'm gonna speed this part up. So now, we're at the end. I've got these figure eights. I've got this last line. I'm gonna drop that. I take this and I do the same thing I did before where I wrap it around itself. Around, around, around. I'm gonna do this a few times because I got a lot of extra line. And then push this baby on through. Now you've got choices, so I showed you uh, there's the hang baggie, which is just push through and allow the loop. Or the other option is if you're gonna be stowing this somewhere not hanging, you can do the same push through and then fold over the top 
and smush it down. And pull on that bitter end so you've got a nice toit little pack here. And now you can toss this in a locker and think about it some other time. The moral of the story is that it will take a couple of lifetimes to learn everything there is to know about boats and boating. And even then it's gonna keep changing on you. So the best thing you can do when someone tells you you're doing it wrong, just, you know, hike up your seashells, dive in and learn as much as you possibly can and then figure out what works best. Did you like and subscribe? Please like and subscribe. Thumbs up buttons are also awesome, as well as comments. Comments, comments. And click whatever boxes are around.